I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Barnabas, the son of encouragement. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, available on Google, iTunes, and Amazon, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. Today is St. Barnabas Day, Thursday, um, the 11th. For Barnabas, we praise you who kept your law of love and leaving earthly treasures sought riches from above. O Christ, our Lord and Savior, let gifts of grace descend that your true consolation may through the world extend. 518 in LSB, Lutheran Service Book. So what do we know about Barnabas? Well, we know that as the hymn writer says, Barnabas was a Jew who was originally named Joseph, who got his name when, um, probably at his baptism, the apostles gave him the name Barnabas. Joseph set all his earthly possessions at the feet of the apostles when he, when he, when he believed in Jesus. And they gave him the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He lifted the spirits of those who were around him. He is the cousin of John Mark, the writer of the Gospel of Mark, the dude that went away from Gethsemane um, naked. But that is a song for another time. Um, when the Gospel was being spread by a young man named Paul, who was Saul, the persecutor of the church. Barnabas was the guy who, um, while everybody was worried about Paul, a meeting Paul, who introduced Paul to the apostles, and they were sent. That's why Barnabas is an apostle. They were sent on mission work to the Gentiles together. Now, uh, they're... they're Wonderful stuff is included in Acts. Hey, go, bub. But what we can also learn from Barnabas is that it's okay to disagree with someone in church and to handle it in a God-fearing manner. Paul and Barnabas separated from each other over John Mark, Barnabas's cousin. Paul thought John Mark, who had... Um, who had not completed his work, their mission work, and returned home, Paul was done. One chance, that's all. But Barnabas, hey buddy, how about you not signal me that you need food and get in your bed? Get in your bed. There you go, buddy. When he's hungry, he hits his food bowl and I'm trained. Barnabas and Paul disagreed over John Mark. John Mark, Barnabas wanted to give him a second chance. Paul didn't. And so they separated and went different ways. And it worked out. We never hear from Barnabas again in the Gospels. After that, that other jury, there is an epistle of Barnabas, but it's really not Barnabas's. But what we learn is, one, what faithfulness. That when you believe in the Gospel, to set all your stuff in front of the apostles and say, you know what? I'm going to leave everything and follow him. And second, what faithfulness in God to hear about Paul preaching the gospel and not be afraid of him. Instead, introduce him to the apostles. What faithfulness to preach the gospel when you've been sent to do it. And what faithfulness when you disagree with a brother, just go your separate ways. No hate, just love. We just we disagree, disagree on this and we're going to go our own way. Uh, Whedon's book, Celebrating the Saints, says that the early church fathers give us a little evidence. <laughs> That's my buddy. Give us a little evidence that Barnabas was, bar was martyred. He was stoned in Cyprus by his own people. And he died a martyr's death. What a great day, though. Hear the collect for this day. 
Almighty God, your faithful servant Barnabas sought not his own renown, but gave generously of his life and substance for the encouragement of the apostles and their ministry. Grant that we may follow his example in lives given to charity and the proclamation of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Have a blessed St. Barnabas Day and encourage one another. Get some encouragement from the son of encouragement, Barnabas. I'm Pastor George Borkart. I don't know where he is. And Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.